Subtopic 1.4 Definite Integral Learning outcomes At the end of the lesson, students should be able to use the properties of definite integral and evaluate definite integral as well. Definite integrals. Actually, we have two types of integral. First of all is, we call it as indefinite integral and second one, we call it as definite integral. What is the difference between both? Actually, when we look at here, for definite integral, it has interval. A, also known as lower limit and b we call it as upper limit but for indefinite integral there is no interval here properties of definite integrals if f and g are integrable on closed interval from a to b and c is any constant then Integration of C dx from A to B is equal to C times B minus A. And integration of Fx plus minus Gx dx from A to B equal to the integration of Fx dx from A to B plus minus the integration of Gx dx from A to B. Then, for integration of C F X D X from A to B equal to C integration of F X D X from A to B. For the next one is the integration of F X D X from A to A equal to zero. Then, for Integration of fx dx from a to c equal to the integration of fx dx from a to b plus integration of fx dx from b to c for b greater and equal to a and less than equal to c. Then if fx greater and equal to 0 for x greater than equal to a and less than greater to b then the integration of fx dx from a to b greater and equal to zero example one evaluate the integration of x cubed plus one dx from negative one to three the solution integration is equal to x power of 4 over 4 plus x from negative 1 to 3. Then we substitute negative 1 and 3 for x. Now we will have 81 over 4 plus 3 when we substitute 3 and when we substitute negative 1 we will get 1 over 4 minus 1 then our answer is 24 example 2 by using the substitution method evaluate the integration of 3x square times square root of x cubed plus 1 dx from negative 1 to 1. We assume u equal to x cubed plus 1. Then we will get du over dx equal to 3x square. Now du equal to 3x square dx. Then when we substitute x equal to 1, we will get u equal to 2. And then when we substitute x equal to negative 1, u become 0. 
so that the integration of 3x squared times square root of x cubed plus 1 dx from negative 1 to 1 is equal to integration of square root u du from 0 to 2. Now, it will give us 2 over 3 u to the power of 3 over 2 from 0 till 2. Then, we substitute it. We will get 4 set 2 over 3 as our answer. Example 3. Evaluate the integration of 2 over x times x plus 2 from 2 to 3. When we look at our denominator, it classified as linear factors so that we need to find it by using partial fractions. So our decompose composition form is a over x plus b over x plus 1. Then by substitution, the suitable value of x, we will find that a equal to 1 and b equal to negative 1. So that it equal to 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 2. Now, we know that this integration become the integration of 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 2 dx from 2 to 3. Then we integrate it. will give us ln x minus ln x plus 2 from 2 to 3. Then we calculate it. We'll get ln 3 over 5 minus ln 2 over 4. Then we will get ln 6 over 5 as our answer. Example 4. Show that the integration of 18 minus 4x minus x square over 4, uh, 4 minus 3x times 1 plus x power of from 0 till 1 equal to 7 over 3 ln 2 plus 3 over 2. When we look at our denominator here, it classified as a repeated linear factor. So that we know that we have to show it by using partial fractions. Then our partial fraction form become a over 4 minus 3x plus b over 1 plus x plus c over 1 plus x square dx from 0 till 1. Then by using partial fraction method, we found that a equal to 2, b equal to 1, c equal to 3. Now we change our question to the partial fraction form and we integrate it properly. We will get negative 2 over 3 ln 4 minus 3x plus ln 1 plus x minus 3 over 1 plus x from 0 to 1. After that, we do calculate it properly we will get our answer as 7 over 3 ln 2 plus 3 over 2. Example 5. Evaluate the integration of x exponent negative x dx from 0 until 1. We use it by part. Then we assume that u equal to x so du equal to dx. Then V equal to the integration of E negative X dx. So equal to negative E negative X. Then we will get negative X E negative X from 0 to 1 minus the integration of negative E negative X dx from 0 until 1. 
we calculate it properly then we will get our answer 1 minus 2 over e example 6 given the integration of fx dx equal to 3 from 0 to 2 then fx dx from 2 to 5 equal to 6 and integration of gx dx from 0 to 2 equal to negative 1 find a the integration of 2fx from 0 to 2 minus 5gx dx and then b integration of fx dx from 0 till 5 okay for a we take out 2 and 5 and use the statement given in order to solve it then we get 2 times 3 minus 5 times negative 1 equal to 11 then for b we use the properties of definite integral from 0 till 5 we separate it become from 0 until 2 and from 2 to 5 so that we get 3 plus 6 equal to 9 now do some exercise and refer to your lecturer